Hey everyone, this is Michael again and welcome to another movie review. And today's movie that I'm going to review is, and I said I was going to review this movie, and that is The Expendables 3. Uh, which stars Sylvester Stallone, Jason Statham, Antonio Banderas, Jet Li, uh, Wesley Snipes, Dolph Lundgren, Kelsey Grammer, R Randy Couture, Terry Crews, Kellen Lutz, Ronda Rousey, Glenn Powell, Victor Ortiz, uh, Robert Davi, Mel Gibson, Harrison Ford, and Arnold Schwarzenegger. And, you know, I like the first two Expendables movies. Uh, you know, you had Eric Roberts as the villain in the first film. You know, Stone Cold Steve Austin, too, uh, was one of the villains. Thought they did great. I love the uh, first Expendables. Second, second one, I enjoy. Uh, you know, you had uh, Chuck Norris in it. Uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme was the villain. Uh, which was cool. So I, I enjoyed the first. Uh, exp I, I enjoyed the second movie also. <laughs> but uh, this third movie. <laughs> I admit. I didn't like this movie. I thought this movie sucked. It was boring. Uh, ac hardly any action scenes. And it was just. You know talk talk. And, ev and all like that. But uh, basically. What the movie's about is. Uh, takes place after the second film and you know there's only five expendables you know you have Barney Ross played by Sylvester Stallone uh, who's the leader uh, Lee Christmas played by Jason Statham who formed it uh, Gunnar Jensen who played by Dolph Lundgren Toro played by Randy Couture and also they feature uh, another original expendables member Dr. Death played by Wesley Snipes, uh, which I think this was his first movie uh, that he returned to because I heard he was in jail. He was serving jail time for a couple of years. Uh, but you know they, you know they take out this this prison and they go to us. Uh, I think they reunite with uh, Hal Caesar, played by Terry Crews. Was part of the uh, Expendables, and he gets, and while they're there, uh, they see uh, Conrad Stonebanks, played by Mel Gibson, who is the villain, who's a co-founder of the Expendables, uh, that faked his death, and you know Stallone's character was forced to kill, and you know from while all this has all this is happening, Stallone's character, you know wants to disband the Expendables and not want to get his team killed and so he goes he uh, enlists this you know Kelsey Grammer's character Bonaparte who is a retired mercenary to uh, help Stallone find a new team of younger mercenaries to take out Mel Gibson's character and you know he he goes out and he sees a uh, ex-Navy SEAL John Smiley played by Kellen Lutz uh, nightclub bouncer Luna play by Ronda Rossi, uh, computer expert Thorne play by Glenn Powell, and a weapons expert uh, Mars play by Victor Ortiz, and also uh, a sharpshooter Galgo play by Antonio Banderas, who uh, I enjoyed uh, Antonio Banderas' character. I thought it was really funny and probably the best thing, best character, you know, of the movie. Uh, <laughs> better than anybody else, but uh, you know, but Stallone's character eventually turns them down and recruits him uh, later on in the film, and so you know they just go and try to take down uh, Mel Gibson's character, who Mel Gibson as the villain uh, didn't buy him, uh, didn't like his character uh, as a villain. I thought he was very wooden. Uh, I just don't buy Mel Gibson as a villain, uh, but you know the action scenes. Like I said, there's not a ton of them. There's only the f action scene in the beginning. Uh, another action scene doesn't come in until an hour in the movie, and then like the last like couple of minutes in the film. You know, at the end of the movie, uh, the fight scene with Gibson and Stallone 
was way too damn short. Uh, Should have went on longer. It was just, you know, them punching, punching out. Uh, Stallone grabs his gun and just and just shoots Gibson. And that was it. Uh, it Could have went on longer. Uh, but, you know, and the CGI was pretty terrible also. Uh, but, you know, Terry Crews' character was wasted. Uh, you know, because he, he eventually gets injured and doesn't show up till the end of the film. Uh, Jet Li also doesn't come in until, like, <laughs> almost like an hour and 23 minutes into the film. Uh, so that was very wasted. Kelsey Grammer's character is also wasted, too. Uh, you know, you see a lot more of, you know, Harrison Ford's character uh, in some scenes. And, you know, the PG-13 rating, in my opinion, killed this movie because the first two were R-rated. Uh, it's like they toned it down a little. They toned it down for this film to appeal to younger audiences. And the movie didn't even do that well at the box office because uh, it was leaked online early in, you know, DVD quality, DVD Blu-ray quality. Uh, so, yeah, so Expendables 3, uh, avoid it. Uh, not a good movie. Uh, my opinion, sucked. And boring. And uh, just wouldn't recommend. I would recommend the first two Expendables films. You know, don't watch this movie. Uh, don't recommend it. So, yeah. So just I recommend the first two Expendables films because uh, they're really good. So, yeah. So, anyways, that's it for my review of Expendables Three. Uh, thank you all for watching. And the next review will be on uh, Dumb and Dumber. I want to review that because, you know, the second movie is coming out Friday and I'm going to go see the second film Friday. So, yeah, so the review will probably will be done tomorrow or maybe Friday before I go see the second film. So, yeah, so until that video, I'll see you all later.